Hey there, Dr. Barton here, just leaving the hospital. We just did a two-level cervical uh, disc replacement on one of my dear patients. So everything went super well. It was very interesting. I'll kind of explain the process. I just couldn't be more pleased with being able to send my patients to someone like Dr. Jones. It's just so nice. He's so skilled. Uh, and everything went off without a hitch. This patient had a chronic left shoulder blade pain. The pain went into the shoulder blade, down the left arm. We did a little bit of spinal decompression. Uh, she had some injections. All these things offered temporary relief, but the pain came back. We tried to exhaust every other treatment option before we move on to something like this. This was obviously an extreme case, and I don't have very many cases that need you know, procedures like this. And the option was to either do a two-level fusion, and that's where they evacuate the disc uh, space and then basically free up the nerve and, and take down as many bone spurs as possible. And then they put a bone plug in there and then put a plate on the front and screw those plates uh, to the, the vertebral bodies. And we wait for the bone to grow into the vertebral bodies or the, uh, the weight-bearing portion of the spine. And that's a pretty good treatment. Uh, it has been done for a long time. It has a very good success rate. But the problem is it puts a lot of stress below the fusion and above the fusion. And those discs, if they're not all that healthy, they can kind of wear out and then necessitate further surgeries down the road. And sometimes the esophagus, it has to kind of go around that plate. And some people have difficulty with swallowing following uh, these types of surgeries. Then we had this motion spearing option where she had basically the same procedure all the way up until the, the bone plug is put in. So instead of the bone plug, there's a little unit. It's called the Moby C. And this unit is put into the disc space and then the top plate and the bottom plate grow into the bone and becomes very solid. And then the, the vertebrae can still move. You know, you still have your motion and it doesn't put as much stress above and below the disc. So if that disc space uh, collapses, then there's not as much space for the nerve and it doesn't really matter what you do. So one of the advantages of this disc replacement surgery is the fact that we spread the vertebrae back out and that created a, a taller foramen for the nerve to come out in addition to evacuating the disc which was poking into that space as well and interfering with that nerve as it was exiting uh, or trying to exit the spine. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight on this particular procedure. You can do two levels with this, um, this particular disc replacement procedure, and you can really be very active, according to Dr. Jones, even after uh, the surgery.